Two years. Two years is what you've got. Now we talked about this earlier, but I want to uh, yeah I want to reemphasize that you have two years locked in at this rate. So if you don't make a clear decision before, and you don't make every payment leading up to the end of that two years, then you're going to run into some trouble with that rate jumping around on you. You don't want to end up there. A big part of what I do here is I try to educate my borrowers to make sure that they don't end up in the same uh, predicament that so many did years ago. Now, is this clear? Or I just, I just, <laughs> I want to be able to know that you guys know. Yeah. No, no. It's a, it's a brilliant loan. It's a, it's a brilliant loan for people who are smart. Yeah. If you're smart and disciplined, then none of those horror stories will. <laughs> you got it. No, I'm sitting by my computer right now. The instant it comes in, I'm going to text you, let you know it's gone into underwriting, and. From there, you're locked in. No, I'm, no, I'm excited. No, I'm excited for you. Exactly, exactly. No, no, no. You made the right decision here today. Absolutely. The two of you should go out and have a nice dinner and split a good bottle of wine because you're, you're in good hands. Okay. Perfect. I'll text you as soon as I get it. Bye now. I guess it's just because every time it rains, it seems to flood. I don't know. It took me forever. How long did it take you to get here? Not, well, not lo really long. You just live in the wrong place. Maybe so. We're going to have to work on that. Maybe you live in like a low spot. Yeah, I guess so. And then the fog, too. Maybe I live in a high spot. Yeah. The fog and the rain together, it's just ridiculous. That fog sucks. What do you guys got going this weekend? Make your numbers today? Yeah? yeah? I did. I'm going to get out of here early. Y'all want to grab a drink? Um, yeah, I'm going to lay low, but I've got some stuff to finish up, so I'll check you okay. later. How about you, man? Let's go, uh, you know, belly up to a bar. No, Maybe. no, I'm, no I'm, I'm good. I'm, I've got some errands i got to run. Errands? Friday errands? You know, There's traffic. In, in fact, that's what I call them. I call them Friday errands. Yeah. You want to explain to me why you run your errands on a Friday? Um, so that my Saturday is completely free. That's completely opposite of what everybody else does. So you like being alone? I like avoiding the other crowd. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Hey, uh, when was the last time we had a beer together? You know, I, I, I don't know. Spontaneous oh, beer. Oh. Hey, what's going on? Yeah. Yeah.
How's it going? Good, man. How are you? Great, thank you. What you got here? What is this? It's all repurposed watch parts. That's pretty intricate stuff there. It's really cool. So you shopping for yourself or looking for a Valentine's gift? No, I, I haven't had to worry about that for a while. So it's, you know. What's the worry, man? Right. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why. I actually don't know why I said that. Yeah, it's true. I had a, I've had a girlfriend, you know. I just, you know, don't have one anymore. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, she actually used to come to, like to do this kind of thing. We would come and... Well, anyway, you know, um, I don't have to worry about that anymore. That's all. That's all I meant. Yeah, man. Anyway, well, hey, you know, rest of your day. Have a good, have a good one. You too. Thanks. Thanks. Hey buddy, what's up? I didn't hear you come in. I was uh, took a little nap. Anyway, I was yeah, I was gonna see what you were up to tonight. I was hoping to put a catch on before you uh, before you got out the door. Nothing much, man. Just uh, probably a little food, pretty chill night. Yeah, yeah. Um, cool. That's yeah. That's um, I was kind of thinking about doing the same thing. Maybe have a drink. Maybe go to a bar or something. What do you think? Oh, I mean, we might get a drink or two, but it's not like a bar night kind of a thing, but... Yeah, no, no, that's cool. Who knows? I mean, if we get up to something, I'll let you know. Yeah, fire me a text or something. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll text you, man. All right, see you, man. Okay.
Excuse me, sir. Do you like shots? Yeah. Would you like one? They are what do you specialty got, shots. Behold, my latest invention. Kind of messy. Yeah. Protein shots. This is a is real that a thing. Baby chick in there? Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry. It will counteract how you feel tomorrow, so you will feel good. It's a shot egg. with an egg. There's vodka in it, and it is high protein and gluten free. This is called the Alabama. What's your name? <laughs> well, my name's Matt, but the Matt. The Alabama Matt. Alabama, Alabama Matt. Matt. Uh huh. Why would you do that? What? Are you afraid to do it? No, I'm not afraid. I just. It's totally no gluten. And we're all gonna do it. We're all gonna. Uh, <laughs> you wanna take a shot gonna do with it us? Too. Take a shot with us. Seriously. Are you not a drinker? Are you, you, you a just chicken? come to parties and have a <laughs> Topo Chico. Yeah, of course I drink. Yeah, I drink while well, I'm here. I'll shoot one right now. I'll do you. it. You ready? Whatever. Hand it here. Yeah. Grow a pair. <laughs> okay. Do you live your life on the edge, Matt? <laughs> Yeah, Matt. Do you live your life on the edge? Sometimes. Put your money where your mouth is. Yeah. I mean, are we being serious right now? You yeah. guys are really taking. We did away it already. Look at all. Whoever said Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Matt. The Matt. The Matt. Oh my God. Why did you not take that? Why did you not take yours? Why did you not take that? <laughs> we got you so good. You actually did it. Are right, you? Come on. Oh you, hey, hey, hey. So no, no, no. No, no. No, 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 no. I, what did that taste no. like? I can't believe you did that. I thought that. you already took two of them. Uh, whoops. No. It's so gross. Okay. <laughs> so this is not a shot. It is for you, Alabama Matt. <laughs> Woo! No, 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 no high fives. No high fives. Hold on. Let me get this straight. You just we got you. found the first guy that walks through the door. You're not the first. And you will not be the last. All right. Well, this is, uh, Matt. Sorry, you just Matt. rope random Sorry. people in and give Do you them... want to drink some more? No. That might make no. you feel better. No. I'm going to. Well, curious to see how this works out. Yeah, really. I mean, it's been working out pretty well. Yep. For us. End of the night, somebody <laughs> blacks out, chokes one of you, you know? I don't know. Not gonna be me. I'm not saying it's me. I'm just saying free booze, loose women, stupid jokes. Have a good night. <laughs> that was gross. Hey, not hey hey. I'm sorry. Can I get can I get a favor? I can't fucking do this. I just need a password. Can you look? Just put in my password. It. What? Uh. I just put in. It's not. I changed it. What? I changed it from Cosby sixty. Don't think I'm a dick. It's Cosby sixty nine. I'm being like real with you right now. Don't think I'm a okay. dick. So I'm not a dick. I'm not a fucking. It was Cosby '69, and then shit happened, and the context changed. It is not. Okay, what am I doing? Why do you want me to? What do you want me to do? Just, I'm just saying that I picked it before. It was like a shit thing, because he was like a dick. I didn't know he was a dick. Cosby was like this dude that was like, mm, sandwich from. Well, you know, you, give me a sandwich with salt. Yeah, I know. And you he want wanted me to... salt, and that was like the funny thing, because he was like, "I want more salt," because it's like a so he's just like sodium. It's not so, cosmic. And now I look like a fucking the... dick, and it's like nobody sees it because it's my password. But it's like, in my head, I'm a dick now because I'm like, "Uh, rape is my password." Is it like rape? I okay, fucking saw not, that guy when I was seven years old at a Christian university. I saw him live. He did a show. And he was doing goofy shit. And he was talking about eating sandwiches. And I thought it was funny because I made it Cosby 69. 
which is like a juxtaposition of like two crazy shit, right? Like it's two crazy things. I made it that because I was like, the password this is, is not like my Cosby whole. 69. It's not that. No, it's right. not. It's good. It didn't work. It's good because I changed it because I password? wasn't. It wasn't that. Like Com Cosby's like not sex. What? He's like the opposite of sex. What's the He's password? Pudding. What's the actual He's password? He's pudding pops. Right? That's fucking funny. He's pudding. What's and the actual password now? It's Current. Oh, that's funny. I don't know that one. All I'm trying to what say, like, I, I'm going to tell you. I just, it's Jefferson 420. Jefferson 420. It's the J, the, the J, did you capitalize the J? <laughs> yep. There you go. It worked. They had an amber alert. Oh, shit. It's supposed to be a birthday party. Thank you. Nobody's got shit on Sherman Hemsley. Yeah. Tim, what's up, man? Oh, hey. Where you find your friends these days? These guys can't work in insurance. Yeah. Uh, How you doing? Long time, man. It's been since For a like long time. ACL. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, Chili something. peppers. Something. Twenty twelve. Yeah. Yeah, I think it was actually right. Yeah. Uh, I mean, how did you even? What are you even? Do you, do you still have my email? You still got my same email, right? I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. I. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Is it your Hotmail account? I haven't changed it. Uh, Probably, I yeah. I, was, I mean, yeah. it's just yeah, yeah, yeah. Obviously, it's been a while, <laughs> right? Well, how did you? No, no. I had to. That's what I'm asking you about. The I had to find out. Did I found out from Rob. I had to find out. So I didn't get. I didn't catch the uh, you know, the note. But man, it's just it, it's just crazy coming and see some new faces. You know, where is Rob? Uh, is Rob here? Oh, uh, he went off with Lisa. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. You know, you should. You can probably go catch him. He left with who? Lisa. Lisa. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Lisa. Is that the, uh, wait, who's Lisa? They've been hanging out for, I don't know, a couple of weeks. Yeah, okay, I know who you're talking about. Don't yeah. You live with yeah. Him? yeah, yeah, Lisa, I know who you're talking about. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I thought her name was Shelly for some reason. Uh, just... <sighs> Rob's a funny guy, you know, he <laughs> keeps odd hours. Dude, I saw Sarah over there. Oh, yeah, you should go yeah. say hi. Yeah, 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 yeah. Been a while, right? Yeah. Hey, man, you're looking good. Thanks, man. You're... We'll talk before it's all said and done, yeah? Maybe. Okay. Okay. You got it. All right. Sarah. How you doing? Hi. I'm Matt. Sorry. Sarah, how you doing? Good Hi, to see Matt. you. Cheers. Cheers. Um, I'm gonna go get. I'm gonna go grab a drink. I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you later. All right. I'll catch up with you. Shouldn't have to. Yeah. Have to That's cool. Yeah. Well, it's a nice night. We get a. Yeah, it's it's real nice. Yeah. Well, so what are you doing these days? Uh, working. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of work are you doing? Quality control. Quality control. What's that mean? Making sure people are doing what they're supposed to be doing. Efficiency. Efficiency. Sounds like a blast. What are you doing? Actually, um, I sell home loans these days. <laughs> good spot for it, you know. Okay. It's actually really good here. Uh, have you bought here yet? Uh, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm, no I'm not trying to sell now. you. I'm not trying to sell you. Just, Fine. You know. Yeah. It's weird just having you stand there. Just sit down. Okay. <clears throat> well, um, Do you remember that time that we went out to the lake <laughs> and Rob, Jesse, and Ryan 
They all wanted to go skinny dipping. And I was in, but you were the only girl still awake. And it seemed like it could be weird for a second, but it didn't really matter. You just did it. We just kind of swam naked. <laughs> and then you uh, told me I should lay off of the s'mores. I didn't say that, did I? Uh, yeah. I didn't mean that. Come on. I didn't mean that. That was a joke. I'm pretty sure you called me pencil dick that night. Should I take offense? Uh, you deserved it. <laughs> yeah, you don't know. I mean, I'm just surprised to see you here. I didn't know you still talked to Tim. I mean, do I need to still talk to Tim to be able to hang out? Like, it's Tim. Well, it's Tim's party. Yeah, I know. He just doesn't ever mention you, so. Sir, I've been talking to Tim since I was seven. Of course, I still talk to Tim. When was the last time you talked to Tim, like, really? Uh, according to him, it was a few years ago. He's probably right, yeah. I'm talking about knowing Tim, as in being in his life, as in knowing I don't what talk he to Tim every day. Exactly, you don't talk to Tim at all. I don't need to talk to Tim every day, okay? Yeah. It's, it, it, he doesn't I need mean, to talk to you every day. Pick up where you left off, you know? There's no picking up where you left off with you, Matt. Nobody picks up where they left off with me? I once started an oil fire with Tim accidentally in his mother's kitchen because he was lighting a fart. So I'm pretty sure I can pick up with him anytime I want. I don't think a fart necessarily bonds you for life, okay? In my mind, it does. I don't think so. <laughs> That's not how it works. You just don't have any clue, like, when you hurt others, you know? You just, you're not aware of it. Why are you, why? All right, I get it. I get it. I see. It's okay. What do you see? <laughs> Look, I'm sorry I didn't call you, okay? <laughs> uh, I'm glad you didn't call me, because if you had, I probably would have ended up like Kate. So oh. thank you. Okay, we're going straight for Kate. We don't have to go straight for Kate. How about, I, I don't know, let's see, when you stole $150 from Sean's backpack when we went camping, or how about that time when it was, you, you took, Steve's car went off-roading in it, and he couldn't drive it, so he got fired from work because he couldn't get to work. Jesus, or, uh, writing this stuff down? He was drunk. We were all drunk. He bet me 500 bucks I couldn't drive it through. Oh, my God. He's your friend. He lost his job because of you. What about your parents? They had to practically rebuild their home because you trashed it and let your friends trash it during a party. Yeah, I wish I hadn't trashed their house. It's the house wow. I grew up in. Okay. You regret something, that's interesting. I mean, I didn't like trash it myself, but I regret allowing it to happen. You were there. I think you threw some things around. You gave a speech on the pool table. I was trying to calm things down. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Easy E was playing while you were trying to calm things down. You don't remember things the way they really happen. Well, nobody does. Please. <laughs> Nothing is your fault, is it, Matt? No, it's I everybody else's fault. The universe just happens. It's you. It's not you ever. It's it's like oh, things just happen to Matt. Uh. You know, if I would have thought that night could have ended differently without holes in the sheetrock and bottles broken in the garage. I, I, I would have done that differently. But we were kids, you know. What are you all mature now? You see the error of your ways? <laughs> it's okay. You know the problem, Sarah, is some days you go down the road and you find somebody to shit on. I happen to be the person today. I'm just telling That's you the, the truth that everybody wanted to tell you. And I'm the lucky one that gets to do it.
We have been waiting to tell you this, Matt. What, what are you talking about? Nobody wants you around. Our friends? Do you ever get invited to anything? You didn't even get invited to this party, I'm sure. I don't even know how you knew about it. I mean, we've been doing stuff for years without you. Is that so? We went on a cruise last year to Jamaica. We're gonna go to Alaska this year. We hang out cruise. all the time. Yeah, a cruise. I mean, we all sat down one night a few years ago without you and talked about the fact that we, we can't have you in our lives anymore. You're too toxic. 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 You had a conversation about that. We had a conversation and decided you were out. What is this, the fucking suburban mafia? You cut me out? Nice. And yeah, we cut you out. We've been in the hospital. We've had parents die. We've gone through struggles. We've lost loved ones. Were you ever there? No. You didn't care. You didn't call to check in on any of us. Hell, we didn't even know where you were half the time. So yeah, suburban mafia, if that's what you want to call us. Decided that we were better off without you. Okay. It feels good. You know what else feels good to tell you? I know you cheated on your fiance. <clears throat> you know, to be fair about that, it's your, you know, right, I guess, to judge it from the outside in. But if you're not in the middle of it and you're not one of the two parties involved and you don't know all the facts and you really don't know what you're talking about. Sure, I don't know what I'm talking about. Were you there? I didn't have to be there. I oh, know really? who you are. Oh, you know who I am. Yes. We all know what you did, Matt. We all know yeah, all what? All of us. What? Her grandmother died. Who went to the funeral? I did. Where were you? You went on a camping trip with Rob and all his co-workers and found some little co-worker skank from accounting and had sex with her in his tent. Who told you that? Rob. And Rob Kate. told you that. And Kate. She knows. Everybody knows. You've just been a shitty friend and a shitty person. <laughs> the truth is, you don't know. You don't know what we went through, what we were doing. All you know is the end result. So it's easy for you to judge it. And I guess that's okay, but not really. You realize you wanted to fuck other chicks and you weren't man enough to tell her. You know what, you loved yourself more than you loved her. And that's why you didn't want to get married. Then you broke up with her two weeks before the wedding? Who does that? I did it. Nobody can control Matt. Matt's a free spirit. She's the best thing that ever happened to you. You ruined it. It's pretty sad. You have no idea about the destruction you leave behind. Get a clue, Matt. Okay, Sarah. <sighs> I don't agree with a hell of a lot of what you're saying. You don't have
have to agree with it. It just is. And you think I'm upset because you didn't call me? It's a fucking laugh. My life is like the universe, dude. Like, it's gorgeous. It's huge. It's beautiful. It's mysterious. But there's this little planet, you know? This planet they used to call Pluto. It's not a planet anymore. It's gone. It's out of my universe. You. You're Pluto. Oh my god. I really thought Steve was the one who was going to tell you all this. Cheers. An old lady asked to say a bite of something off our plate. I could say. The pesto burger, fries, and I didn't see a beer list, but any kind of beer is fine right now, so. Well, it's after 2.30, so I can't, unfortunately, serve you. Oh, can't, I can't order a beer? You guys are open, no? Yeah, it's just against TABC policy, so. I'll tell you what. I ordered, let's see, what did I get? 8 50 for that burger. I have $26 here. So that more than covers the burger. And you can keep the difference if you just give me a beer. It's been a really long day. OK.
Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. Can I get you anything? Uh, any water, coffee. Two waters, two coffees, two toasts. Don't worry about the time travel. Don't worry about the essential travel. Like, why bother making a time travel movie if you're not going to discuss what time travel is, right? So. Tonight, when you tripped, you said, I fell to the ground. You said, I fell down. I fell down. You didn't fall. You got pulled towards the planet tonight. When you walk, you're defying gravity for a moment. It pulls you down. Look at this glass. Look at it. If I let go of this, what happens? No fall. No. It's pulled towards the ground, just like you were, just like everything is, constantly, at all times. Because there's mass to the planet. Mass leads to gravity. One of the four fundamental forces of the universe. The strong nuclear force, the weak nuclear force, electromagnetism, no, gravity is all that matters. You don't even understand what it is. See, it was pulled to the ground. It didn't fall. It was pulled to the ground by gravity. Excuse me. Do you realize you just dropped this on the floor? I didn't drop it. It was pulled to the ground by the mass of the planet. Just open your mind and have some perspective. Get out. Go. Get out. I, I, okay. All right. I'm sorry. I am sorry. But get go. How, do, you, do you see what that means? No. Get, go. If you don't have perspective about your own space in the universe, how are you going to have perspective on your own life? Can you just, sorry just about your please? Glass. No, please, please. I can help you. No, it's not it's, a big deal. It's... Really? I can handle this. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, look, I'm sorry about earlier. I no. didn't mean to snap at you. I was just really... It's okay. It's okay. He dropped the glasses. <laughs> Three in the morning, you know? Don't worry about it. Um, can I get you another beer? Sure, I'll take a beer. I brought you this, and I'm sitting, because I deserve it. Okay. <laughs> Again, I'm sorry about earlier. I was just... Those guys were idiots. You don't have to apologize. Yeah. Yeah, they were. They were. Yeah. Yeah, they just... <laughs> I'm not really happy with men right now, so... Don't base it on those two. Yeah. Aren't all men idiots, though? I mean, you seem fine. You seem nice. I didn't mean to attack you. It's just, if my ex was here, he'd probably say that would be my fault. That whole glass dropping thing. How would he, uh, how, how would that be your fault? He'd find a way. I don't know. He'd find a way to make it my fault. I almost lost myself because I wanted to give so much of myself to him. Changed who you were? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I just realized that I was really willing to be unhappy for him. Willing to be unhappy for him? Yeah, willingly unhappy because I was giving so much of myself over to him and he wasn't ready or didn't want to give anything back to me. So, you know, I could only give so much of myself and lose so much of myself before it, it killed me. <laughs> Yeah, sounds like you're lucky to be out of that. I don't know what I'm doing. Nobody knows what they're doing. Yeah.
And nice to just see him. Work? You work together? Yeah. Okay. I do. A lot. So, anyway, um, what about you? What, um, tell me about you. I don't know. I mean, what do you want to know? Well, how was your day? Oh, well, it was good. I, um, saw some friends tonight. Stayed out. Probably drank too much. Um, now I'm here. Yeah. Not a bad day. So, you vote for being alone? <laughs> no. Trust me, I do not hope for being alone. <laughs> I'm sitting here by myself, you know, in the wee hours. I'm probably not the person to ask about that. Thank you for, for this. No, no, thank you. Thank you for the beer. No problem. Mm. Yeah, um, I should probably get back to work. Okay. Your order should be out soon. Appreciate it. Yeah. It was nice talking to you. You too. Yeah.